Okay, so Emmet is one of the great tools that I've talked about in the past for uh, very quickly building up HTML and CSS. But there's a way that you can actually customize. So if you have snippets that you're using all the time and you want to add them into Emmet so that they're there as keyboard shortcuts for you, that's what we're going to talk about today. So how you can customize Emmet in VS Code. All right, now I'm going to be doing this on Mac. You can do the same thing on Windows. There'll be a few minor differences, which I'll point out along the way, but basically it's the same thing. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to create a folder where we can save our snippets. Now, what I did was inside my user folder. So on Mac, that's the one if you do, let me clear this out here. If you go CD slash like this, you know, that's your user folder. On Windows, you've got your user folder as well. You can go to Windows Explorer and find this. What I want to do is I want to create a folder inside there where I can save this. Now, I've named mine .vs-emmet. Now, I did that just so I know what it is. You can call the folder whatever you want. What we're going to be doing is in the settings, like right here, when I open up the settings, I'm going to save this path. So I've got this folder, and if you want to open up settings, we can go to preferences, settings. Uh, on Windows, I think it's just the, the settings is right inside the code menu, or the, the file menu rather. So you can open that up, and once you're inside of the settings, just do a search for Emmet. Once you've done that, right up at the very top of your search results, you should see Emmet extensions path. This is where you're going to put the name of this folder that we're going to create. Now, inside of there, we're going to create a file called snippets.json. So if I list off what I have inside of that folder, you can see snippets.json. That is what we have here. So we just have to point to the folder. It will automatically look for a file called snippets.json. And we can come over here. This is the file that we're going to be editing. It is just a JSON file. We can have a section for HTML, one for CSS, one for JavaScript. So depending on the type of file that you're working with, inside of each, there can be a snippet section. And it will have the keyboard shortcuts. And then this is the result that we want to put out there. So I'm going to be changing the sort of the default one that we get normally with Emmet so I can hit an exclamation mark and write the starting code of the page. I want to customize that because there's a lot more that I would like to have in there when I'm first starting out a page. The other setting, so we'll come back to that in a moment. The other setting inside of here that I will sometimes use, not all the time, but sometimes, um, down, scroll down through all of these. We're looking for the variables section. So you can search for Emmet variables or just Emmet and then scroll down to the variables section. These are name value pairs that we enter right here inside the settings. So Lang and Charset, those are fairly common ones. So this is the language that I'm going to use. And we actually use these variables or can use these inside of our snippets. That's why we have them here, so I can use them right in here. We've got one that I created here called title, and I just clicked on add, and it let me add one inside of here. If I want to change the values of one of these, I can do that as well. So we're, I'm going to show you how you can use this within a snippet. I'm going to show you how you can use it within the page. So let's jump right into the snippets. Inside of here. Two exclamation marks is going to write this out. Now, this is quite a bit of content. This is longer than most of them are going to be. So I've got the head with a couple of meta tags, three meta tags, a title, and then I've got the body. Inside the body, I've got a header with an H1 with a title. And this is that variable. To write out the variables, it's a set of curly braces. And inside that, it looks like interpolation that we'd have in, in JavaScript. So inside the outer curly braces, there's a dollar sign and another set of curly braces with the variable inside that. So this is going to be translated into the variable. Now I've got a main element and then I've got a footer element. Okay, so with that content, normally if I come in here and I hit exclamation mark, I've got the one, this is the one that comes built in with Emmet. This is what we get. So the meta tags, the title, nothing inside the body. 
If I jump over here and I do my two exclamation marks, which is what we had back here in the snippets, there's two exclamation marks here. Now, if I do that and hit enter, I've got the meta tags, I've got the title, there's my variable, and the variable's here again. I've got my header, I've got my main, I've got my footer. All of this content was built into that snippet. If I want to add something more, like this one doesn't have a link tag for CSS or the script tag, which are things that you're going to put in basically every web page that you build. So I can come back here into the snippets and just change this. And if you want to copy the uh, this snippets file, when I'm finished this video, I'm going to take that and save it into a code gist. You'll have it down in the, uh, in the description. There's a link to the code gist with it. So you can use this as your starting point. We've got, uh, okay, and then here's my title. So right before the title, this is where I'm going to put my CSS link tag. So I'll do the normal thing that I would in Emmet, just link colon CSS. That's going to add that link tag. And then down here at the bottom, we've got, here's my main, here's my footer, and then after my footer, but still inside the body, I'm going to add my script tag, like that. So I'll save that. And this is saved right here with the two exclamation marks. So if I come back here, delete everything, do the two exclamation marks and hit enter. I've got the same stuff, but now I have this link tag and I've got a script tag. Now I still don't have a nav section inside of here. I could add that into this same thing, but I'm going to make the nav into a, a separate thing. As it stands right now, by default, in Emmet, if I just type in a tag like this, this is what I get if I say nav. So I don't want to use that, the word nav, as my keyboard shortcut. I want to have my own custom one that I use. So I'm going to come inside of here. I'm going to make sure we put the comma at the end of the previous line. And then I can't just use nav because that already exists. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that. Nav4. I'm going to build a nav menu that's got four anchor tags inside of it. So this is going to be my keyboard shortcut. And then inside of here, we'll say I want a nav tag. And then inside of that, I'm going to have four with, let's say, nav link is going to be the class that I put on those things. I want to have an href with a hashtag inside here. And then down inside of each one of those, we're going to, oh, actually, sorry, times four. We want to have four of those. And then down inside of that, I'm going to write the word link. And then a dollar sign will represent each of the numbers. So this dollar sign will write out one, two, three, four, as it does the four links. All right, so let's try it in this page right here nav colon, and you can see it comes up automatically. Yep, that's the one that I want, that nav4. There we go, and when I save it, there we go, it formats it for me. So there's the nav with the four anchor tags inside of them. They've all got the CSS class name, the numbers are inside of here, there's the hashtags. So whatever you want to build, you can add into the snippets. So right now I've got a brand new one that I use to start my pages. I've got a nav element that I can throw in there that's automatically going to have four links without me having to type out all of this every time. I can do this. I can build another one that's going to be three. So let's change that, make that a three and make this into a three. Save it. Now inside of here, I've got a choice. Do I want three menu items or four menu items? If I say three, I get the three. All right. Uh, oh, the last thing was the variable. Right, we wanted to use that title variable that we created back here in the settings. So this variable, which we are using inside that main snippet, but I can use inside the page as well. So if inside of here, let's say I want a main element with a paragraph and inside the paragraph, I want to use that variable title. 
Well, this is what you normally do with the curly braces to say that you want to have a piece of text. But my text is going to be the variable title, like that. So an outer set of curly braces, and then an inner set that has the dollar sign. And there we go. I've got the variable text from the variables that I set in the settings. All right, so like I said, the snippets, JSON, uh, link to down in the description to the code gist. I've got uh, another video that I did before on Emmet. The link to that is down in the description as well. Hopefully, you'll have some fun working that out and adding some snippets and making yourself a lot more efficient with writing your code. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments down below. I answer as many as I have time for. And as always, thanks for watching.